Hello everyone. Starting from today, I'm going to have a series of shorter videos to cover the communications between components. First, let's have an overview of the communications between components. Blazor programming is component based, as was covered in the previous episode, and you would have page components and non-page components, right? So, for example, you would have page one, page two, page three, page n. Each page may deserve to have subcomponents, and those components are non-page components. For example, this page one has two subcomponents. And page two does not have any subcomponents or non-page components. And page three is even more complicated, and has, you know, a component tree like this. And page n may have something like that. So now the interesting happens. Interesting thing happens. So now, when we have a complicated structure like this, what needs to happen is a communication between these components, and the communications between the page components. This kind of communications are done by passing. Routing parameters, right? So routing parameters, and the communications between the parents and child. This is done by.、Uh, Parameters, regular parameters, right? So this is routing parameters, routing parameters, and this is also routing parameters. But these ones are regular parameters. Right, so this is also, and this is also, right. So these are regular parameters. So we have routing parameters, and we have regular parameters. And the third type of parameters are cascading value parameters. So in that case, that、uh, we have a.、Uh, A deeper tree structure like page three, and sometimes we want to pass the value down from the parent from the page component all the way to the leaf, right? All the way to all of them, and we can do that by using the regular parameters, right? All of that can be done, but Blazor. Has a better way to do that. It's called cascading parameters. Cascading. I'm not sure whether I'm spelling correctly or not. Right. So another type of communication is that when the child, when the child, when the children are trying to tell the parents. About something, some interesting that happens, right? For example, your child calls you from university about something, right? And you would have to react to it. So that kind of is called event callback. That kind of communication. So this is event callback. Right. These blue ones are event callbacks.
Um, and another type of communication is when you want to tell your child about something, right? When you call your child about something happened, something interesting happened, and you ask your child to do something, and that kind of communication is um, is when the parents calls the child. This pet type of thing we reference. You know, we reference the child component, and then we can call a method on that child component directly. So in the next episode, I'm going to cover the routing parameters. If you like my video, please hit like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.